Amino acids contain both an acidic group, carboxylic acid group, and a basic group, amino group. However, a physiological pH, the carboxylic acid group will be deprotonated and the amino group will be protonated. A sweeter ion can be defined as a dipolar ion because it has a negative charge and a plus charge with a net charge of zero. The word sweeter means hybrid. Because amino acids are sweeter ions, they are crystals that can form salts. These two ends are polar ends, therefore amino acids will be soluble in water. The net charge of an amino acid will depend on what is the pH of the environment in which that amino acid is found. In acidic conditions, the carboxylate group, which is the basic part of the molecule, will accept a proton. In basic conditions, the amino group will lose a proton to a base. If to a solution of alanine or valine or serine, a strong solution of hydrochloric acid will lower the pH, this carboxylic acid group will accept a proton. By lowering the pH, the net charge of the sweeter ion zero has changed to plus one. When we add the hydrogen to the carboxylate group, we only have one plus charge on the nitrogen. Addition of a base will result on a loss of a hydrogen on the amino group. If a strong solution of sodium hydroxide is added, this amino group will lose one of the protons and now the net charge is going to be negative one. The initial sweeter ion has a net charge of zero and at high pH, the net charge will be negative one. We observe that at low pH, the carboxylic acid group obtains a proton and the amino group remains protonated. We need to explore the change on the ionization state of acidic and basic amino acids, such as aspartic acid and lysine. This is glutamic acid or glutamate at pH 7. The net charge for this amino acid is negative one a physiological pH. If a strong solution of hydrochloric acid is added to a solution of glutamic acid, a change in the net charge will take place. When a strong solution of hydrochloric acid is added to the solution and the pH reaches a low value, let's say, pH between 2 and 1, both carboxylic acid groups will obtain a proton and now the net charge of this amino acid will change from negative 1 to plus 1. This is the amino acid of lysine, which a physiological pH around 7 has a net charge of plus one. If a strong solution of hydrochloric acid is added and it reaches a very low pH, the net charge of the amino acid will change from plus one to plus two. When a strong solution of hydrochloric acid is added, only the carboxylic acid group will obtain a proton and now we have a net charge of plus two. Now we need to look at the changing ionization state when we add a base. If it is used in a basic solution, there is no change in the ionization state of the carboxylic acid group, 
but there will be a loss of a proton from the amino group. We, need we are going to consider again an acidic amino acid like glutamate and a basic amino acid like lysine. Observe that only the amino group has extra protons to be donated to the base. The net charge of glutamate at pH 7 is negative 1. When a solution of sodium hydroxide is added and a high pH is reached, the nitrogen will be the one losing one proton and the two carboxylic acid groups remain the same. There is a change in ionization state from negative 1 to negative 2. Initially, we have plus 1, negative 1, negative 1, and now we only have the two negative charge in the two carboxylic acid groups. Now we have the amino acid lysine at pH 7. It has a net charge of plus 1. If we add a solution of sodium hydroxide, now we have two protons to be lost to the base and there is a change in ionization state and the net charge will be negative one.